it's damned here and we're going into part three of this tutorial series where we're going to create a cyberpunk red rule set uh, using the rule set wizard fancy grounds by psychedelics so we've loaded up our rule set wizard and we've loaded up our project and we can see where we've already finished the stats and we've made a fair chunk of way through health and we're now going to add a couple of labels here so we've got one called injuries underscore label and it has a value of injuries and we've got another one called addictions I'm going to keep this, the syntax the same we're going to call it addictions label uh, I'm going to line them up and I'm going to set them to the same size um, I'm now going to create a string field and um, I'm going to put a frame around it and that frame is going to be the same as the frames that we're using around the numbers. So we're going to use the field light and I've set up a, a offset of 5555 and uh, I've positioned it on the sheet. I've given it a name injuries underscore value. So our label is injuries underscore label and our data field is injuries underscore value. And I'm going to do the same thing for addictions underscore value and we're going to try and get those positioned up. I'm going to load up my rule set and we can see there that um, I've got so firstly addictions um, the S is covered off as uh, it's, it's not shown I made this font I uh, used the reference bold make it a bit darker obviously it takes a bit more space that way and also my two text fields um, overlap each other um, vertically like the the addiction field is actually sitting on top of injuries just by a couple of pixels so we'll go back and we'll tweak these a little bit you can see here that I've changed my offset, so I've got five on the set, so I've got five on the left, three on the top, five on the right, one on the bottom. Uh, so we'll do that. And I've also moved the two labels over a little bit to the left. So we've got those lined up pretty well. So they're looking pretty close to how I want them. Going back to uh, our seriously wounded red box with the minus two on it. Basically, when you are seriously wounded, all your rolls should have a minus two modifier. Now later on, we might automate some of this. We'll, we, we might check the wounds, current wounds versus um, max wounds or compare it to the um, serious wounds value on the character sheet and then automatically adjust these rolls. But for the moment, we're creating a box that uh, you double click. So you can see here we've got a function on double click. So the action required to invoke the script is double click. Then we've got a nice simple script. Now these are using some core RPG functions. So we're calling modifier stack dot add slot. And this takes two values. The first value is a description. So our description is seriously wounded. And our second value is, is the modifier number that's going to go into the modifier box. So when somebody double clicks this red field, it will add a slot into the modifier box and it'll label it seriously wounded and it'll put a minus two value in. So if we load up our table, we will uh, reload the table. When we double click on the minus two for seriously wounded, we can see minus two is added to the modifier box with one dot. When we roll the dice, um, um, we get minus two under the result and we can see the label there is, says seriously wounded. So we'll roll another one um, without and we just get the straight eight, do a modifier again and this time our three becomes a one. So that's it for tonight's video, it's a nice short one. Uh, this time we added some custom coding in and this time instead of manipulating other fields on the character sheet we are interacting with the other elements on the fantasy grounds tabletop so this time we interacted with the modifier box so we've added a description and a modifier number to the box and you notice in the box there is a uh, area for multiple modifiers to stack so and they are indicated by a dot so we add a minus two for our um, seriously wounded, but maybe we get some advantage, say from a height advantage or, or from uh, somebody assisting us 
and we might be able to add another modifier in there that might counteract some or all of that. And tomorrow we'll be doing some more in-depth coding and I won't be teaching you how to code code so much but I'll be walking you through the code on something that's a little bit more complex. Thank you for watching and I hope to see you again on the next video.